Here's pre-calc, this is problem 10-77, and it says, on graph paper, sketch the parabola that is the set of all points equidistant from a focus 0, 7 and a directrix uh, y equals negative 3. So, whenever it... Here's pre-calc, it's problem 10-77. I had to pause it for a phone call. I don't know how this is going to turn out. But um, anyway, it's asking us to sketch a graph of a parabola. Um, it's kind of hard to sketch this. It's just going to be a sketch, not a, not, a, um, not a full graph, not an accurate graph. Um, but we want the focus at 0, 7 and the directrix at y equals negative 3 and it wants us to use the definition to write and simplify the equation of the parabola. So you have not been told this all these years but the definition of a parabola actually let me read it to you it is that it says, by definition, a parabola is the set of all points that are equidistant, equidistant from a fixed line, which is a directrix, and a fixed point, which is the focus that's not on the line. So that is kind of a simple, a simple definition. So what that means is, it's hard for me to draw this. You can see I had to erase. Um, I, what I did is I took our focus and put it at 0, 7, and I took our directrix and put it at um, negative 3, and then I don't know if you know this yet, but uh, parabolas always open up, open inward onto their focus, like it's not going to go, it's going to be an upward facing parabola, um, and the, per, the vertex of the parabola is going to be exactly um, in between the focus and the directrix. And that might make sense by the definition of a parabola because it said it's the set of all points that are equidistant from the focus, let me write focus, and the directrix. See this is five, from here to here's five, and from here to here's five. Um, it's harder to really understand that if you take any point. So the direct the definition of a parabola is any point that's equidistant from the focus and the directrix. So if I move my point over to here, for, this is not actually drawn perfectly to scale, but I noticed from here to here that's about six, and from here to here I did Pythagorean theorem, it's a little more than six, but, but what it's saying is that this segment and this segment are equidistant and anywhere anywhere on this um, parabola I should have um, all the set of all points that are equidistant from this focus and this directrix so how do we get the equation well what we can do is just find a point XY like I just took a random point on on the parabola I labeled it x comma y and then I'm going to use my distance formula because I need things to be equidistant. So if you remember distance formula, it's just kind of like x2 minus x1 squared, y2 minus y1 squared and then take the square root. It comes from Pythagorean theorem actually. So I take the distance, like this distance right here, and I put it on one side of an equal sign and then I take this distance and put it on the other side of the equal sign and then I solve. So I went x2 minus x1, so that's x minus 0 squared because I'm just following my formula and then y minus 7 squared following my formula equals and then I'm going to do the same thing here um, x2 
minus x1. Well, x minus x is zero squared, so I just didn't even write it there. And then y2 minus y1, so that's y minus negative three. But if you minus negative three, it's plus three. Um, and how did I know, how did I know this? Well, I knew that this ordered pair right here was x comma negative three because it has to be uh, perpendicular, like the distance from my um, parabola to my directrix is going to be like make a perpendicular with the directrix. That's the shortest distance I can get. So if this is x, then right directly below it also has to be x, and this is negative 3. So anyway, I just did a little bit of uh, algebra. I, squ I uh, squared both sides. That took the square roots off, and then I saw that I had y squareds on both sides, got rid of them. I ended up um, getting everything over on the left hand side, but then I remembered that I need to write it in um, like y equals form, so I went ahead and moved the um, x squared and the 40 over to the other side, then I divided by negative 20, and I ended up with this. Um, so that's the answer, I think, to letter A. And then letter B said what? B said that we need to change the equation of the parabola to shift the graph five units to the right. So five units to the right, five units to the right, so that's going to be x minus h squared. So if I want to go right, h is going to be five. So or it's going to be positive, so x minus positive 5. And that's it.